This video will show you how to install cable onto Dutton Laneson brake winches. Here's a few important notes for you to keep in mind. First, how you install cable depends on which DL brake winch you own. So follow this video's instructions only when you see your winch's model listed in the top left corner of the screen. Also, except for the DLB350A you'll see near the end of this video, we do not recommend that you remove your winch's reel to install cable onto it. We will show cable being installed on standalone reels, but that's only so you can more easily see the processes we're guiding you through. One last thing. We'll start by showing the most common cable installation method, using the cable clamp that comes with most of our winches. Then you'll see a few variations of it necessary on our higher capacity brake winches, and we'll finish by guiding you through a couple of unique wrap methods. So, if your winch is included in the model list to the left, rotate your winch's reel so its oblong shape slots are up. Use a pair of pliers to put a kink close to two inches from the end of your cable. Slide that end through the reel slot, then wrap it around the outside of the drum. Next, line up the kink with the square hole next to the slot and insert the cable clamp bolt through it. Set the cable clamp and nut in place, adjust the cable so it fits under the clamp's winged edges, then use a 7 16 inch wrench to securely tighten the clamp. Get rid of any slack in the cable so the side of your winch looks similar to this. Finally, tightly grip the cable while you wind it in even layers coming off the top of the reel. If you're installing cable onto a DLB2500A or 2505A, the process is slightly different in that you first move the oblong slots down so the cable comes off the bottom of the reel, and you clamp the cable using the square hole opposite the slots instead of the one right next to it. But the rest of the installation process involving the clamp is the same. If you own one of these winches, wrap the cable around the top of the inside of the drum once, then slip it through the reel's round hole and use the cable clamp through the square hole as always. On a B3500 brake winch, wrap the cable under the bottom of the inside of the drum, through the round hole to the right of the square hole, then secure the cable using the clamp and square hole as normal. We'll now go over a couple of winches that require you to wrap the cable onto the drum instead of using a clamp. Because of its small size, the DLB350A is the one brake winch where we recommend that you remove the reel before installing cable onto it. To do this, get two half inch wrenches to loosen and remove the nut and bolt holding the reel in place. Pull the reel out from the winch, then position it so its oblong slots are up. Put your cable through the slot, into the bottom left hole towards the center of the reel, back out of the bottom right hole towards the outside of the reel, then slip its end underneath the first loop. Remove any slack from the knot you just created then this area should look like this. Ensure that the end of the cable is contained within the reel and not hanging off the edge of it. Then you can reinstall the reel onto the winch and wind your cable onto it. Last but not least, to install cable onto our B4010A winch with a split reel, simply slide the cable through the slot in the center plate and feed each side with the length of cable you need. Wrap one end around the outside plate, then wind all of the cable onto the winch by engaging its loop drive. Thanks for watching. More videos like this can be found on our YouTube channel. We're always open for suggestions on new video topics, so let us know what you'd like to see.